Hi! Today we are going to be exploring what was once the most powerful, thriving city in Europe. We are going to dive back a thousand years ago into Cordova's history to find out why its power is relevant to us today. For the last five weeks, I was bunkered down in a little city called Agua Dulce. And normally I'm traveling around climbing the highest peak in every country. But since many of the peaks in the area are not possible to climb right now due to poor weather conditions, we're taking a different path. A few days ago when we decided that we would be coming here to visit, I did what anybody would do when they're going to a new place. I started researching what to do, what to see, and something kept popping up. It was this mosque cathedral. And then I got curious and I started going down a deep wormhole. And then it just got me thinking, this is so relevant to what's happening now. So we are heading to the Jewish quarter right now because the Mesquita, the mosque cathedral, is closed because it's still pretty early. We're just about to go inside and I've never been in a synagogue before. When I do go into these buildings, I'm usually trying to be very respectful and very mindful of the people who practice and what it represents, you know? It's so beautiful inside. So as we walk around the Jewish quarter, let's start our story. Way, way back in the 700s, the Arabs of the time crossed over the sea, came up through Gibraltar, and they fought their way to Cordoba, and they seized the city. In the 700s, a member of the Umayyad family, which was actually the first Muslim dynasty, took over leadership of the Spanish Muslims. And that, my friends, is why you always look up. You never know what you're gonna find. So I'm walking down these streets and I know all this history and I'm telling you this story. And it's just... I, it's unbelievable just to imagine what people did, how they acted, how they felt hundreds of years ago, a thousand years ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a little tickly feeling in my chest. <laughs> Maybe it's heartburn. So the rise of Cordoba was due mostly to the Umayyad family because they were intellectuals, they were curious, they held education in high esteem. And so that's what brought Cordoba to be one of the most powerful cities. The advancement and sophistication of a few different fields like philosophy, astronomy, and medicine. It wasn't just this though. It was this same family that founded the Great Mosque and took about 200 years to complete. I honestly cannot get over how impressive this place is. I can't believe it. <laughs> and you can smell the incense in the air and before you could hear some hymns and I'm not religious in any way really and it's something that really makes me feel at peace here. It's a wonderful thing. The real power I see in all of this was how they practiced religious pluralism. Jews, Muslims and Christians could practice their religion in peace and harmony without persecution and they lived together like that and it was a powerful functioning society and this is what I think is relevant to us today. What's really special about this mosque cathedral is because it is both. It's a mosque and a cathedral. So it was originally constructed by the Moorish kingdom, right? So in the 
1200s when the Castilian king took the city under his leadership, he actually decided to not destroy anything and build a cathedral in the middle, simply because it was so beautiful. I don't know if you're wondering the same thing I am. Is this still religious pluralism when they build a cathedral in the middle of a mosque? Great question. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm still kind of pondering it. But the way I see it is nothing has really been destroyed. It's just been, I guess, built upon. And that's kind of the way you can see our society right now. We're becoming more and more integrated. I do think it's important that we preserve our culture, language, religion, beliefs. But at the same time, I think the important thing is that we accept others and give them power in that by just supporting them. Ooh, I'm getting deep into the philosophy now. We're all just little humans wandering around this planet trying to find something that connects us to one another. And I think the ability to listen, have an open mind to a different perspective, especially one that maybe you never considered or you never thought was yours or you disagree with, I think that's powerful if you can do that. Anyways, those are my musings and my thoughts based on all of this history. Um, I would love to hear what you think about this idea of shifting our mindset of power. Um, but just keep in mind that the whole idea behind this is for us to be kind to one another and to listen to one another. So please be gentle and thoughtful and kind in the comments down below. Um, take care my friends. So now we have ventured with our van to Cordoba. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, so I'm very sorry to all of the Spanish speakers out there. I think I can pronounce it. 